Welcome everyone to P Car Market Live. This is Inside the Market. My name is David Jacobson, and I have Jim Barry. Morning. How you doing, Jim? We have. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we got this. There's been a lot going on, so mm -hmm. we apologize for the little delay in getting this out. We were in Monterey. We were in different events. We did a lot of traveling. Um, we've been extremely busy here in the in the office, and all good stuff. But we're back. And we're going to do something special today. Um, we're going to do the 993. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to kind of go through something really swiftly here because what I find uh, with some feedback and, and even when I'm watching it, I say, you know what, if I didn't really know a lot of what I know, I would get lost in a lot of the information that we're sharing, right? So I think it's very, very important that uh, we, we spend the moment to do that. Um, so we're going to do the 993. We're going to talk about everything except the turbos, but we're going to talk about the 993s, so all the naturally aspirated versions of the car. And um, that may be, and I'm going to pop this on here. Hang on one second. Um, and that may be um, a Carrera Coupe. It could be a cab. It could be a 4, 4S, 4. There's a lot of different models. And I want to just break them down real quickly. So the 993 was, was, um, was introduced in 1995. And for the U.S. For the U.S. For the US market, we're talking 1995 and ran through 1998. Pretty short run. Um, it's a beloved car. People love this car for many reasons. Um, but just want to just break down. You, you can see this beautiful car. John may be popping in and out of this beautiful pastel yellow car. That is for sale right that now. That you see on the screen. That's actually for sale right now. So you can take a look at it. But um, the, so in 1995, the, the car comes out with a non vario Ram motor, uh, 272 horsepower. After that, they go to the Vario Ram in 1996 through 1998, which is 282 horsepower. So the bottom line is, is you have a coupe and a cab, right, mm -hmm. running through those years. And then you have a Carrera S, a Carrera 4, a Carrera 4S, a Targa, and a 993 RS. Yes, but, but the RS wasn't really a U.S. car, but yes. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. The RS. We're going to throw that in there anyway. We're throwing it in. We're throwing it anyway. Now they're here because they're here, and yeah. you know they're they're actually legal to bring in now. Right. When I say legal, they got the 25 year uh, exemption. So, um, the, but that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So again, we're going to talk about 993s, 95 through 98, a coupe and cab. The coupe and cab. The cab was not available in an S, so everything with S, 4S were all coupes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 1995, one-year engine. I said the non Vario Ram, and then 1996 to 1998 had the Vario Ram motor with 282 horsepower, 3.6 liter displacement on all the models we just talked about, except for the RS, mm -hmm. which was an ROW car, which was 3.8 liter, which, which produced, I believe, 300 horsepower. So um, quite an automobile. And again, I want to just talk about a few things about the car for those of you that may not be familiar. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, number one is the, it was a major design issue, um, design issue, a design uh, redesign of that car in 1995. In fact, mm -hmm. Tony Hatter, who was the designer of the vehicle, when I saw him speak one time, said that Porsche was very nervous. It was a big deal. They came off of a very rough financial time with the 964, which is not a ma it was mass produced, but they really didn't build as many of those as previous models. And the car was was really changed as far as the aesthetics. So the car looked different. It was really a major change. It didn't have the frog front end anymore. It was mm -hmm. kind of leaned back, the smaller fenders, a little tucked in in the rear, and uh, the rolled fenders. It was quite a different uh, vehicle, uh, you know, as you can see in some of the footage that John is showing. Um, but, uh, you know, it had a short lifespan again. We said 1995 through 1998. Um, the car was also a beneficiary of a lot of the 959 uh, development, okay, so the, you know, which happened in the 80s. So this car really had a lot of cool stuff, um, including, um, we'll talk about some of the suspension things, but one other thing I wanted to mention is the Boxster. The Boxster, many people don't know that the Boxster was out in 1997 while the 993 was still in production. Mm -hmm. So they also, there's no doubt that Porsche used some of their development in their and their in in the in the Boxster to influence the the 993 as well because it was it was kind of happening almost sim simultaneously mm -hmm. or at least they overlapped at that time. But the 993 also had some major changes in the suspension. And what I mean is they had a multi-link rear suspension, which incorporated kinemic toe, which basically when the car squatted on a turn, the, 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 um, it simulated almost like a four, a, a four wheel steering where the, it would tuck down and, and it would help the car to kind of work around the, the turns. Therefore, 
perform having better performance whether it be on the track or whether it be on the street mm-hmm. in aggressive driving and it also incorporated a rear strut assembly allowing for tunable damping which brought the car's handling dynamics pretty much into the new era you know rather than the 964 which 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 was a uh, at that point became uh, antiquated um things to be aware of on the 993 one of the things that we always talk about jim is the wear in the seats oh. you know the seats are really very difficult to uh, to gauge the mileage on a car. So if you see a car you fall in love with and it says it has 30,000 miles and the seats look like it has 130,000 miles, it doesn't mean that the mileage is wrong. So they 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 wear they they wear rough, right? It goes to show how nice the car is because I'm a leather fanatic. Yeah. Like I've had two new cars. I've made the dealers change the seats because of creasing. <laughs> That's how bad I am with leather. Really? Are and this know? is still my favorite car. And this is the worst leather in a car. You had them change on your car? Yeah, not on a Porsche. I had it on a Lexus and a BMW. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you won't change it on this? Well, no, it's, it's original. But I'm, but yeah. I'm saying, like, it, I can't stand wear and, like, beat up leather. I can't stand it. Yeah, well, bottom line is, is make sure that when you look at the, uh, the, the leather on the car that you kind of use it with a discerning eye because mm-hmm. it is not necessarily going to depict the yeah. actual mileage that's on the car. Yeah, and Porsche would never, like, Lexus, I got to say... It was like a one-year-old car, and I just said, look how this is getting all creased. And they said, no problem, and they warranted, and they put a brand-new seat in the car. They're such great service. Like, yeah. That's how they built that. that this, but Porsche, would, you know, they would never do something like that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but what, what year was that? 2000. Okay, so yeah. they were really, they, yeah. they were really make, trying to make people happy, trying mm-hmm. to steal business away from the German yeah. manufacturers. So are we ready to go on here? We're ready. I think we have a good baseline of the 993, mm-hmm. yes? Yeah. Um, uh, so let's, let's do it. Let's do it, John. I'm going to hop into the first car over here. The first car is is the. We're gonna just get an RS out of the way, okay? Mm-hmm. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, 993, uh, 993, 993 <coughs> Carrera RS. Everyone, look at this car. I mean, this particular has the touring tail and the and the, and the front spoiler. Um, a little different than that big giant spoiler, which I'll pop up so everyone knows what it looks like right. on the uh, on more of the track version of it. But this is a street legal car, 300 horsepower. One of my favorite cars to drive. If you ever get a chance to drive one of these, you'll understand. The first time I drove this car, I, I, I was like shocked on how tinny and lightweight and... It's a big it, difference. When it, you close the door, you notice it. It's like a ping. Yeah. It, it's, it's such a... Yeah. It almost was a little bit of a shock to me how, how, how raw it was. Mm-hmm. But man, oh man, when you get on it and you start to enjoy it, it you can, you'll see all, yeah. the, all the character coming through. That's true. And people try to duplicate them, but like the, the things that are hard, harder to duplicate is you know, they're missing the sunroof. They're missing the headlight washers that all the U.S. cars had. Yeah. You know, and then obviously the interior, you have the lightweight door panels. The seats are different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but even looking at the motor, like just, just looking at it straight on, it doesn't look that different. Yeah, you can see. It doesn't look that different. It's a yeah. 3.8, you know, from a 3.6 in the standard 993. Um, but uh, you, when you look at this car, it's just absolutely stunning. It is everything you'd imagine it to be to drive. Um, I know people that have had Ferraris and have had some exotic cars. When they drive this, they get it. You know, it's just, it's such a simple, raw experience compared to those other European cars, but it's so special. And and here we go with the numbers now. So this car sells, this car has 34,000 miles, 55 thousand kilometers um uh great seller what can we say about these pictures i mean absolutely incredible look, look at this uh, i mean does that not make your mouth water mm-hmm. <laughs> look at that <laughs> so absolutely terrific uh, the car actually doesn't meet reserve and then sells in the deal tank yeah, it took a few days took a few days <clears throat> uh, for four hundred and ten thousand. uh and you know what this car, where is this car going? You know, original yeah. paint car, this condition. They made 1,100 of these cars. They made more 73 RSs, like 1,556, give or take a yeah. car. So the production numbers on this are extremely low. It's an ROW car. They never brought it to the United States. This car is absolutely, to me, a steal. Mm-hmm. At four hundred thousand dollars, a steal in this condition. This car, this yeah. person who bought this car, is going to be glad that they did. This tail is gorgeous. You know, I have the same car, same color with two tails, and mm-hmm. I prefer. We have this sitting in front of me right there. As a matter of fact, hello, beautiful, um, with the same tail, mm-hmm. and it's just stunning. Yeah, no, it is. It is, and, and it's it's good for people to be able to see them sell on a platform like this because when you watch these sell on. Um, you know, the big auction houses, like the uh, the destination places, 
you don't know what the cars are. And, and for those who are maybe just going to, you know, stick their beak in and, and try to get into this, yeah. they don't, you know, there's a lot of ins and outs with these cars that you could do a whole podcast just on that. But, you know, the, the, main, the main headline being a lot of these were tracked in Europe and people have tried to hide it. And yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. do DMEs on these like you can with the new GT3. So, you know, a lot of the cars in, this, in, the, in like the RS world are, are known by the, by the major players. Yep. So one of the reasons this car did this number was this, the color, and this car is a real legit car, you know, from, from a great seller. Yeah. But, you know, yep. attract one of these in another color could be $150,000 oh less. Oh, yeah. You know, so yeah, I mean, it's important we, for people to know that. You'll see these no-sailing at two and a quarter. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because of that. But again, seller <laughs> answers the questions, has a repu- the right reputation. And, and you could uh, see there were a lot of bidders on this. So people knew. A lot of bidders. That this was the real deal. It wasn't like there was one or two guys there. There yeah. was a lot of people on this. A lot spot, of bidders, so. yeah. a lot of comments. Uh, fantastic auction. Great, and a great result for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean that. I mean that, you know, because yeah. some people say is that everything is wonderful. Always, no. Sometimes people overpay and they want to, and that's fine. And some people steal a car, and that's fantastic. But um, this one. Well, what's cool is the guy who won it. I spoke with him. He just bought a 2019 GT3 RS on Peak Home Market. Who did the the buyer? Oh, is that right? Yeah. So now he went and bought. So I guess he's got a little bit of an RS ah, affinity as well. So. All right. Yeah. So he's starting a nice collection or adding to his existing yeah, he's collection. Adding, yeah. 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 Great. So there you go. Four hundred ten thousand dollars. Beautiful RS. Now let's go. Let's start with the um, this car over here. This this car was on bat. We the reason we put this car up there. It's a standard Carrera. It went through the roof, and it really doesn't depict any truth or any reality here. And also because we got a lot of uh, people wrote into us about this. Yeah, people wrote into so. us about this car. Do you want you share that? The yeah. fact is that what 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 does this mean? Did this really happen? What, yeah. What, well, it was. We put it on here because we appreciate that people are watching and communicating with us. You know what I mean? And I got several. It wasn't just one or two people. There were several people wrote in and said, "Is this a fluke?" You know, should I um, should I sell mine? Is it going to yeah. do this? And yeah. and you know, one of the things you and I talked about, you know, when we kind of tried to answer this was, there's really not a lot of these on the market. You know, if you go back over the past three months when the spike really happened, yeah, you know, the majority of the cars, I'd say 95 percent of the cars were two S's and four S's. Yes, right. So so there, there's a lack of C2s, and then this could have just been one of those auctions where you know the guy did nice pictures and and it was a fluke. But I I personally don't see. We've seen some four S's with mileage like this sell for not much more than that. Yeah. So I don't see yeah. a, even a, a even, on, even on Brigade Trail. <laughs> yes, even on, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we watch place. everything. Yeah. We're not just looking at our own website. Yeah, we look yeah, at everything. Yeah. So, keep so don't don't judge this on what your car is worth. Yeah, it yeah. Is, now it, it is possible for a coupe to get there with the right a- color, right absolutely. mileage. Yeah, but very but he, possible. But here's the funny thing. Here's another one on BAT that sold for seventy thousand. Right, which is a little more in line. It had a bad Carfax. I didn't see a ton of service history but again it looks like a nice decent car yep. you know even if you bought that and pulled the motor out and spent 10 grand on it you'd still be in it for 80 or 85 so yep. it's 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 a fair it's a fair deal for somebody so um, somebody with a with a base carrera you know can can expect with reasonable mileage on the car to be in the 60 to 70 thousand yeah which is which is a huge <clears throat> win for them because these yeah. they were 45 to 55 just a year ago for a you know we're talking like a over 60 thousand mile car yeah i mean it's like no no nothing you know, they're yeah. standing out at you. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like th- this car would have been, I-, I think, 50 grand a year ago on our site yep. or here on or, back. Yep, yep. Yeah. And now it hit 70 grand and had some Carfax issue. And <clears throat> but <clears throat> so, and, that, and that steering wheel cover is... Uh, Oh, oh, horrendous, right, right. horrendous. It's like, you ever see a guy um, <laughs> Gosh, who takes horrendous. like white tube socks and puts them over his pants? That's what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's it's horrible. That is horrible, man. You better have just showing the wear. Clean it and show. That's yeah. what I, I would do. You know, it's just honestly. Yes. You know, everyone's looking at that thinking, what's under there? Yeah, yeah. So just take it off. Yeah. So if you have a, Car- a base Carrera, you know, it's like all, you know, all boats rise with high tide. And, uh, you know, all the, the 993s across the border are are, uh, are pretty hot right now. Mm-hmm. And that's that. So now let's pop over to a um, 4S. A C4S. Now, this car, uh, let me just get my notes over here because I, 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 there's not a whole lot of notes I took on these because these, these cars are pretty straightforward. P, um, I wrote PDK. And we should point out <laughs> that, not. you know, we've talked about 993s not too long ago, but we're doing this now because there is a drastic difference in the pricing from before the summer. So, you know, we're just trying to keep everyone, you know, uh, aware of it. No, no. You, listen, yeah. I'm sure everyone is really, in, you know, uh, you know, 
right on the screen right now. Yeah. 993s, I mean, we have more 993. We have 699 or 7993s right now on PCAR, mm -hmm. and we'll continue to have them because they're hot. People want to buy them. People want to sell them. What a great time for that car because, mm -hmm. you know, it's an opportunity to get a really nice one. It's also a good way for people to who bought it maybe at the right numbers years ago to get a nice little profit. However, these cars are, are still not crazily overpriced because of what we talked about and what they are. Right. You know, the short production. Compared with a new one. That compared to a new one. And also, my goodness, man, drive a new one. This car is a fun, it's modern. You know, it has cool, cold air conditioning. It's yeah. reliable. Um, what a, the motor is fantastic. Um, but anyway, so here we go. Here's a C4S, um, 45,000 mile, beautiful, beautiful car. That is black with, um, what I love about this car, if you take a look here, is that black dashboard. A lot of times people will crush a car that has this gray all over it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a gray guy interior. It just does not do it for me. However, look at the gray with the black on the, on the door tops, you know, and also mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the dash. And the floor mats help it too. And the floor mats. It kind of looks like a little deviated uh, carpet going on, even though it's just a pair of floor mats. But nice, nicely presented vehicle. Car sells for, and again, it was, it was it got a lot of action, a lot of activity, as these always do. Yeah. Um, no video here, right? And this, this one we said is, is right on. This is exactly, this is what the seller should have got for the car, is what the buyer should have paid. Nobody, nobody got, nobody got uh, the short end of the stick on this. Yep. Sometimes, you know, you look at these things, you're like, what, what happened? Yeah, so 140,000 all in, uh, 45,000 mile. This is what you're going to expect to pay today for a C4S, give mm -hmm. or take. If this car is, uh, if this car has a saddle, uh, a uh, um, cashmere, whatever the, yeah. the 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 tan interior, to me, it's ten thousand dollars more. <laughs> you know, it's just the it's way possible, it is. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, this maybe not because this is beautiful the way that this black dashboard mm -hmm. and stuff. But you know, color. Again, you're going to see greatly affects the price. You know, of this these interior cars. is it's popping. I mean, a lot of these when you just look at them, they look drab. You know, they're like they haven't really 100%. been like the leather hasn't been conditioned over the years. Yeah. Things get a little sun faded. And they're just very, you know, it's a non-eventful interior. But this has that carbon fiber on the dash, which I think was added. You know, what I mean, but still, it, it it makes the car look nicer and well, it updates seats. it a little bit. The, we talked about the condition of the seats. Mm -hmm. These are the seats that have the uh, they're taut. You know, they're tighter. Yep. They have other seats that have like especially on the turbos. Yeah, it's more of the supple leather. Right, yeah, that, has, exactly. uh, that, that has that wear. And that this has those wear. big door speakers. It has the hi-fi stereo. So you lose that door pocket. You know, So yeah. if you get the regular stereo, you actually have a place to put your phone, which I like. Yep, but yep. this, you trade it off for the better stereo in this one. <clears throat> Fantastic car. Okay, now we have on top of that one, we have another C4S. No, C2S. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Did I skip a 4S or no? Well, we did this. There should have been another one. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to have to bounce around a little bit. Um, so here's a Carrera S. All right, now you have a 27,000-mile Carrera S in, uh, in blue, which is the ocean blue, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And this one happens to have the classic gray interior, as we talked about before, which can kind of get a little... See, here's the difference. Yeah. See what I mean? With the gray interior, with the gray dash. You know, it kind of loses a little bit here for me, but it's still beautiful. I'm sure the owner of this car is not uh, complaining. It is a stunning automobile. 27,000 miles. Now, here's a C2S. Which these are lower production than the 4S. Explain that, Jim. Yeah. Now, these have the twin grill. Yeah, they right? have the twin grill. And, and basically, you know, what I was told when, back in the day when these were newer that, you know, they had more turbo bodies than the engines. It was the end of the production line, so they kind of put this together as a, a, a special last-minute thing, and then it became one of the most sought-after cars. But the 4S and the 2S both have the turbo body. You know, the, the 4S has the turbo brakes. These don't, and it has the turbo suspension. This doesn't. But, you know, purists like this car because it's rear-wheel drive. It's lighter. <clears throat> and uh, the twin grille is just like the design cue on that. I mean, people actually seek that out and you know, add it to other 993s because it looks so nice. So, you know, the 2S is, is going to be the more collectible cost. So you'll always see like a 10 to 20%, you know, increase on the price on the 2S. Yeah, the, two, the 2S is, plus <laughs> it's the people like the more lighter, agile performance of it, yeah. right? Would yeah. you, you may have said that. Yeah. And, um, and the, uh, the 98 being the final year. Yeah, as final well. year. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. And also this was, this car, this car did a, a good price. You know, the seller was very pleased with it, but it should have because it was technic it was basically like a one-owner car. 
um, even though it was the second owner, the, the guys were like best friends. And it was funny, the original owner of the car represented for him because he was uh, not able to be present for the auction. So the car was represented by the person who bought it brand new, which was nice. It's, it, it was just at the dealer. It was original. I mean, so there's reasons why this car did this. Yeah, you know 185000 I mean? <clears throat> yeah, it's not It's not uncommon great. to see a car like this do 150 or 160 yeah. But this car, you know, when you have certain boxes checked, you'll get, you know, a little bit of a yeah. premium, and that's what happened on this. And that's what it is. People need to understand that you you know you can't put a reserve at 180 on this car, mm -hmm. and, I, and I believe that the reserve. Yeah, is, you can't do that. But more. but back to your point, if this had a tan interior, it might have even done more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, yes, but that that's a strong number. This is like it's a strong number. I mean, the last blue year, on tan this, is uh, remember we had a, a turbo that you know now would be considered cheap, but last year it was a lot of money. That was this color with the with the tan. Yeah. And we were I saying guess. that you know what I mean that it did that because of the the combo. I guess you're right. Yeah. I guess it is what it is. Uh, okay. Now we go to a another Carrera two with the Aero Kit package. Right. This car has twenty two thousand miles. Right. My color silver. Okay, and uh, I think this is silver black, right? No so, blue. Oh, silver blue, very yeah, nice. Yeah, blue. I like silver red. Mm -hmm. Silver blue is gorgeous because they had the box to red, and this um, this is a. Supple leather exclusive. You can see the difference in the interior. I'll pop over to that. This is what I mean about the wear and tear. You know, the, the, the regular seats wear better than these. When you get into these, they have the... See this here? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a great condition. Don't get me wrong, but you have that... Uh, what do you call that again? It's, it's ruffled, but it's supposed ruffled. to look like that. It's ruffled. I mean? Yeah, that's well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But when, when it gets wear on it is when you really start to see the... Uh, and this car is in nice shape. Yeah, this is... This like car a is in really nice shape. And that's why, uh, again, you did some big numbers here. So this is 22,000 mile 993 S with the Aero Kit. Um, is there anything else to say about this car, Jim? No, it just goes to show that, you know, as much as we could try to make sense of this stuff, you, you know, you do have to use discernment. And I, I always tell this stuff. If people have ever spoken to me on the phone when they're trying to sell a car, they'll, they'll, they'll say, oh, my God, it's like I'm reading off a script. But it's, it's, it's about a range. It's not about a number. You know, you get people. It's so interesting. You speak to people. Well, I want 175 for my car. I won't take a penny less. Okay, so 174, you won't sell a car? No. I'm like, okay, so that's where we just go off the rails because it's like, you know, how do you, how do you know if this car is going to do 165 or 185 or 170? It's a yeah. range. Yeah. This is in that same range as the blue car. Why one sold for more than the other? It could have just been there were more people that wanted that car that day. You know what I mean? It could be on the 2S, in my opinion. I love aero kits, but then you lose the twin grill. You know what I mean? It's so like on yes. a 4S, I would yeah. be all over an aero kit. But on the 2S, I kind of want it without that. Yep. So there's a number of different reasons. Yep. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. silver, blue, great color. Uh, yeah, 170, <clears throat> 177,000 all in. Yep. So, again, this is what you're going to pay for a C2S. Yeah, a, ni a nice one. A nice, a yeah. really nice one. Yeah. Okay, a nice, low mileage. The only way it gets more money than example. this is if you get a PTS or you get like a uh, like a sub-10,000 mile car right. maybe. I mean, that, yeah. th then maybe you're pushing the two mark. But um, but th this is um, that's yeah, it. This is high caliber. That's, that's uh, absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> uh, next we have here is um, a Cabriolet. Mm -hmm. Cabriolet. It's kind of a record in my opinion. Did extremely well. Yeah. Black. Is it black? Yeah. Uh, just a great presentation. Right. It's just a, a low mile car and just, you know, when you think about it, most of the cabs out there are pretty, you know, used. So I guess, you know, there was a couple of people that would just wanted a perfect car like this. And that's why this did this money. Because we've never really yeah. seen a cab do this kind of money. <clears throat> yeah. You but know, look at the car. It warranted it. You know, yeah, it was a it's like a brand new car. It really is. Love the wheels. The upgraded wheels. Um, the... The photo shoot on this car was 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 nice. It kind of depicted, uh, you know, some nice shots. Some shots needed a little help, but decent photo shoot. Um, and again, this is my standard thing: photos and words, everything. We have watched. Just so you all know, we have watched auctions yesterday, the day before, last week, whatever. Constantly, where someone doesn't answer a question, the bidders have to say, "Where are you?" The guy, the the seller has a little bit of an attitude, like he answers, like with an attitude, like, you know how you can see when you're texting, you know, somebody texts with an attitude and you can sense it. What? You're like, <laughs> what? Or where's the DME? Don't have it. Yeah. You're done. You're done. I mean, I mean you yeah. know what it is, is that why would people be their worst enemy? If you're selling something, be kind, be compassionate, be understanding. If it was you, you know, empathy is well, the whole thing, that's right? That's why we're doing this. Empathy you know? is the whole thing. Treat somebody the way you would want to be treated yeah. if you had a question. You know, and that's why we monitor them. We'll, we actually call up the sellers, and sometimes they love it, and sometimes they're like, all right, 
It's like, you want to answer the question, maybe? Mm-hmm. The guy's asking for three days. It's ending in 10 minutes. <laughs> we, so yeah, listen, answer the Legitimately, there are people that do not want to be bothered, and that's why dealers exist. Drive the car down to the dealer, let them write a check, and then they'll do all this work and get paid for it. Did you hear what Jim just said? Did you hear what Jim just said? You got to do the work. <laughs> you hear what Jim just said? If you don't want to do any of the work, bring it to a dealer, let them buy the car, then they'll sell it and make 15 grand on the car. But here's the thing. It's not a lot of work. No, it's not a lot of work. The photos can be taken by, not you, anybody. We do the write-up. We do the interview. We do the presentation. We do it all. All you have to do is just be kind and answer questions. Most of you know this, and, and it's fantastic, and that's why you know it's the ones that stand out that don't. But answer the photos and the words is what you're presenting to the world. So that's why that's all you have is photos <clears> and words. So do everything you can do to make them incredible. Doors shut. When you're doing the interior, the opposite door is shut. You can go on our website for some tutorials and stuff on how to do that. But please, please, please take the right pictures. Get, um, give us the right information. We had a car that went on there that was numbers matching car. And then halfway through the auction, it was not a numbers matching car. Our guys did everything that they could do, everything to get the right information. And then we have great um, um, yeah, the comment is, the great you know, community. It's, it's great, we have a yeah. great community that brought <clears throat> something to light. The car was withdrawn. You know, so it's really a great place to buy a car, man. You know, we always talked about this. You know, when we first started in business, would we have used P-Car? Probably. Now, I wouldn't use anything else. Mm -hmm. I would never, ever sell or buy a car anywhere else than through P-Car at first. Mm -hmm. And then I have to find something somewhere else, whatever. But Unless it's a Honda Odyssey. If it's... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> if it's a Honda Odyssey or a Corolla, actually the Corollas are probably going to be collectible with all you people out there. Don't get mad at me. Yeah, well, Rav Fours. I always sold the Rav Four. Rav Four. <laughs> yes, we did. It's a manual. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we're selling a, a wide variety of cars. But anyway, please just take the time, call us, ask questions, and and uh, we promise you a great result if you do your part. Um, <laughs> Let's go to the next one here. Oh, by the way, so we sold, we 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 said this car sold for eighty eight thousand dollars, man. A cab with sixteen thousand miles, beautiful car. I mean, it deserved the money. Um, it was at the top of the market, top 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 of the market. But go find that other sixteen thousand mile beautiful it's car. Worth it. Yeah, if it's somebody worth wants it. a beautiful car. Yeah, yeah. Dude, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drive the car, enjoy it, and if you sell it, even if the market changes, you gotta sell it for seventy grand, sixty eight thousand. Yeah. Who cares? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, uh, just not everything is about a profit unless you're a dealer. Yeah, it's no, but this will hold because it's when you buy the best. If, if someone keeps this car in this condition, I think it'll sell for the exact same thing. You know I mean, now that's been established. Yeah. So, because there there are people that want these, and and they just they're willing. You know. Ten twenty thousand dollars more than a, a sixty thousand mile one's not a lot of money for somebody who really wants a yeah. nice car. It's not. That's the air conditioning, John. Yeah. <clears throat> if you hear that, hmm. we hear it. All right, so, uh, but it's cooling us off. We need it. Here's another Cabriolet, nineteen eighty eight Cabriolet. Last year, very desirable. Does uh, la, 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 does thirty thirty seven thousand plus 000. the fee. So so roughly like, um, almost thirty nine. Yeah. Almost forty. Just shy of forty grand, but different car. Right, not as uh, you know. The mileage on this car was what it was uh, eighty-four thousand miles from sixteen thousand miles. It was clearly not in the same condition. Had some paint imperfections as, and stuff like that. So paint imperfections. Nice driver. You don't have to worry about leaving it outside in the rain if if, if you you know don't get home in time or you know it's 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 perfect for someone that just wants to use it and not have yeah. to worry about anything. I'm looking for the seats. I had the Porsche Classic radio, which I like. Yep. The seats were definitely, they, they could use a recovery. You see how the leather was shrinking uh, yeah. there and, and the yeah. sun. Yeah, but you know what? An 84,000-mile yeah. Porsche that you can actually drive and enjoy and drive in the rain, like you said, Jim, mm-hmm. to just enjoy it. You know, you could buy a car like this and still be in it for 40 grand or under 40 grand. Heck yeah, man. You were just saying that the, the yesterday. I, I know, I know. The, the coupe. <laughs> the coupe, yeah. But, uh, Days are over. Yeah, so there you go. So there, there's there's kind of a range. If you want a premium, beautiful, low mileage cabriolet, you could right. expect to spend 70s, 80s, and maybe even a little bit more. If you're looking for a, a driver that maybe has a couple of issues that need to be uh, sorted out, or just a nice higher mileage driver, mm-hmm. you could spend 40 grand, right? Yeah, the, those are the two opposite ends of the spectrum. The typical cabs there, 45 to 60 grand. You know what I mean, they're like you know 40 to 60 thousand miles, yeah. well maintained. You know that that's like the typical range. So this just kind of shows you know, the beginning and the end. Yes. And uh, we're going to right now, we're going to pop into a few of the cars that are on right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, Some of these are going to be live when you watch this. Mm -hmm. Um, We have right now uh, one owner, 996 C4. (laughs) I 
always do that. 993, 1996, 993C4S. This car has some uh, um, a Carfax, I believe, right? It has something on there, yeah, but it's right. a one on a car. So, so uh, yeah. it's not stopping anybody. People love that. This you know? car is fantastic, man. Yeah. Look, first of all, pay closer attention to this information. Look at this photo. Mm -hmm. Look at this photo. Look at this photo shoot. Do you want this car? Be honest with me. Put a comment right now. I want that car. Look at this. Oh, my God. We actually love this so much. This was the feature picture in our PCA ad. Oh, really? Yeah, which came out yesterday. You didn't see it yesterday? I didn't see it. Nobody oh, brought it. Oh, my God. It's, it went live yesterday on eBreak. Oh. Oh, that, I thought you were talking about a print ad. No. Yes. Anyway, look. I did see that. I have to take you through this. I know we have to go. But look at how beautiful this car looks. Tan interior. Look at this car. Oh, my. But if, where's the picture? Oh, I just that was the picture. Is that gorgeous or what? Is that gorgeous or what? <clears throat> Look at this. See, that's a supple, right? That's a supple. See, that's that's and look, it's it's in decent shape. I don't think this was. Yeah, well, one owner car. They took care of it. <clears throat> anyway, just it's just, impossible to keep them perfect, but you know that one has just not been destroyed. So no, it's, it's just good. a nice PCA uh, sticker on there. Yep. Anyway, um, anyway that's so th gonna sell. this Don't car's at, it's at a hundred grand right now. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna move obviously. Yep. Uh, then you have here a, uh, C4S. Uh, oh, that's, a, it, that's just a C4 coupe. I'm sorry. C4 coupe. So you could read. It's good. One of us could read. It's always <laughs> helpful. <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, 33,000 mile Carrera four. Okay. We remember now the motors are the same. The four has the wider body. No. Oh, the just, just the oh interesting, drive. interesting. Yeah. See, this is where it gets confusing, even for the Michigan me, <laughs> is that you, <laughs> the C4 and the C, the, the, the two and the four have the same yeah. uh, the same body. It's where the 4S. The thing that confuses everybody yeah. is when you go from 993 to 997, the 2S and the 4S, they, the differences are, are, are not the same. You know, on a 993, you got the same motor, but it's the wider body. On the 997s, the all-wheel drive cars have wide bodies. Yeah. So a C2S is not a wide body. It has a 3.8. It has a bigger motor. Yeah. So you could buy a 997C4, which is like the descendant of this car. It's not an S, yes. but it has a wide body. Right. So that confuses people. Yeah. And you know what's really you know? interesting is look at the seats. They're not supple. Look See, this, this car, I love to see the shifter. See, these are the little things Porsche did that they don't do anymore, let, in my let me, opinion. Let, let me get into the shifter. Yeah, it had, it, the C4 had a smaller shifter with the, that, that beautiful metal plate on top of it. Yeah. And, uh, and it had silver painted brakes so so if you knew what you were looking at see the brake calipers are silver yeah and they stopped doing that you know now if you don't get an s you get these horrible brakes that if you don't powder coat them in a year they're going to start to they turn gray they're just uh Stun very disappointing stunning car you man. know you could buy a forty-five thousand dollar alfa romeo comes with painted brake calipers i don't know why porsche started doing that on yeah. the new cars but the prices they're charging but you used to always get a painted caliper it was just a matter of what color it was you know, in correlation with the model you're buying. Yep. So that's that's, that's nice. good. Good information. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but this is a beautiful car. This car this, should do very well. This is gonna do. So, yeah. oh, it's gonna do beautiful. I mean, it's black. In on fact, when we sat down, it was like a thirty-three thousand. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching uh, some bids come in. Yeah. So thirty-three thousand miles, forty-five thousand. It's at with two and a half days left. Um, get in on this one because uh, somebody tried to buy it for a dollar a mile. Give them credit, but yeah. it's gonna work. <laughs> There you go. No, um, that's a nice car. That's a very nice yep. car. And then over here, this is also live. We just talked about that RS that ended at 5,000. 410. Yeah, 410 all in. This car is at 151. 159.93. Very cute. And uh, it has is, the big wing. It has 19,000 miles, yeah. which is almost. About almost, half. It's about half the mileage of the other car. It has the wing. Uh, it has the different uh, spoiler, front spoiler here, which is, is the uh, racing version. Some people love this one. Some people like the other one. I like yep. this front. I, I, I think this is incredible. This anyway. car's about driving, so oh, you know, my goodness. I could be Look happy with any color, even though the yellow I really like. Look at this car. Is there a video? Look at the Look at the Woo. That's the, is that the gray and black? Yeah, it's the oh. same seats as the other one. Oh, no, but the, chain, the color, that is beautiful. I love when they do that. Yep. So um, I'm not going to show the, the well, let me show a little bit of this video. Maybe you can hear some beautiful sounds of the music. Oh, wind noise. No, please. 
Oh, too much wind noise. Okay. But anyway, check that one out. That's live also. 993 um, Carrera RS. 1100 made. Just a dream machine. All right, here we go. Oof. We're going to just pop into this real quickly to let you know what's happening. We are Porsche, but we have a lot of other stuff that we are really are doing very well with non-Porsche products because our Porsche guys and our friends and our customers have other cars and they wanted a place that they could do business and here we go. So he has an SLR. Yep. This is a 2000 mile, 2006 SLR. Absolutely incredible, stunning machine by, does he, did he own it since new? No, but they had it for a long time. A long time. I, a long the time. way he talked about it, I thought he had it forever. But yeah. Well, he did. I mean, it's like, I think over a decade. Yeah, so long-term ownership, beautiful, beautiful, sorted, well, just fantastic automobile that you need to look at. Uh, SLRs, listen, when you look at the entire world of investment cars, I believe there are a few, even with the crazy prices of today, yeah. there are cars that I believe are no-brainers having a upside, and I'm not talking about 10-year upside, I mean sooner. And that's these these to me, the mm-hmm. SLRs, okay? And um, in fact, I should go buy one before I this thing goes live. but Because uh, I really believe that much that these cars are, are, go, are destined for some greatness uh, as far as pricing and collecting. They already are. I mean, I'm not like a genius, but I think this, they're, they're inexpensive. Oh, in, yeah. In, 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 relatively. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking to be, you know, different, yeah, you know I mean, for the money that this is going to sell for, yeah, you know I mean, you know, what are you going to go buy a new Huracan or a... You know, McLaren or whatever. This is, yeah, this is special. Very special. Okay, here we go. Look at this, man. If you are into Mercedes Benz, try to find one of these. Twenty-five thousand mile, nineteen eighty, three hundred SD original paint. It has original wheels and even the tires are how old? They're original. Original, original yeah. tires. What we this particular car, the tires and the wheels were put away. Yep. And a new set, a new rim and tires so the car could be driven. Yep. But the car is, we've seen this one in the, person. The photographs are done with the original tires. We yeah. did it here. So yeah, this is with the original tires. Ta- yes, yep. yeah, we did the photo. The and now, photo. now it has a set of new wheels and tires so you can drive it. But Look at this. Look at, the, feast your eyes on this. Right, let me just be quiet for a second. <laughs> John, are you showing that? Yeah. Look. Do you smell it? Can you feel that seat, that bouncy Yep. Seat as you go over a bump and that kind of diesely growl. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love this car. I know. Yeah, Listen, this is, it's this is it is really cool. very special and um we, we we love this car. We love this car for obvious reasons. Anyway, if you are there's people buy these with three hundred thousand miles yeah. and they and they're still driving them to a million miles. Like this is a brand yeah. new one. Yeah, it's a brand new you one. Know? Listen, this car is this car at 150 to 200,000 is low mileage on this car. Yeah. This has 25,000 original mile. It, I, I can't even say enough about this car. Anyway, and I'm not a brown guy, and I love it on yeah. this car with that uh, interior. This over it's here. Class. yeah. Okay, just had to put this up, man. I mean, come on, a stick. Major value. A stick V8 van, Vantage, uh, you know. With- if, if, if you've never heard one of these drive by from outside the car, the first time you hear it, you'll be like, what is that? Yeah. That car surprises you. Yeah. It, it has an amazing sound. Yeah. I remember my friend got that car brand new. He bought a coupe, and he ordered it in uh, Laguna Seca Blue, you know, the BMW M3 color. Yes. And um, I just remember the, hearing that car start up for the first time. It's, it's, it's sensational. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. There's some juicy stuff on P-Car right now, yeah. Yeah. so get on and get in. Um, and then over here, we're going to finish up here. As I had to put this in, Jim. I know we were getting away from Porsche for a second, yeah, but my goodness, photo. look at this. Yeah. A 30,000 mile 996 GT3. Look at that. You could just, in, I could feel this this moment right here with that with the, the photograph and getting in that car and the road that must be ahead of this car. Is, is, in fact, is there a video? Please be a video here. If there's not a video, ooh, take a journey with me. That's 11 minutes. All right, we're not going to do 11-minute video. Uh Uh-oh, a lot of talking. (laughs) Hold on a second. Let's see if there's any drive. Please drive the car with that road. There it is, there it is. Up. Oh, he's not driving on that road. No. (laughs) (laughs) What a tease. Still had plenty more to go. I think it fast forwarded over it. Actually, no, 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 no. Now he's just talking about the. Oh, there you go. 
Anyway, you get the idea. Yeah. The, the car is just a stunning automobile, and and uh, we want we want this. Um, finally, that is it. What I do here? Oh, well, this car. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what I was running the footage at the beginning. This yeah. is really this pastel yellow Jim. Talk about this one for a minute. Yeah, this is uh, this is gorgeous. So this was um, this is a really good seller. Uh, same seller as that cab uh, that we just talked about, the uh, 15,000 mile cab. Um, the car was done by a um, even though it's got 84,000 miles, this is probably better than a 20,000 mile car. It, it was done by a you know known shop in California, completely gone through. Super rare color. This is a super, super rare color, and it's super cool. I hated it back in the day, and now I love it. You know, to me, it was like a cheaper, if you, if you didn't want to pay four grand for the Speed Yellow, you got this. And now, because Speed Yellow is all over the place, this is so cool. I agree 100%. You know? Yeah, and, and the turbo twist wheels look amazing on it. So, um, you know, based on what the seller told me, and, and he's been very credible in the past, I mean, this, this car is like a new car. Yeah. So this thing's amazing. I am so. I am in love with this color in this car. I don't know why. I'm not a pastel guy mm -hmm. in any sense of the word. I no, past, me pastel clothes, pastel in my house. Past, I don't want pastel. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a gorgeous. It's refreshing. Color for this. It, uh, you look at it, it's refreshing. But I mean, it just went live like a few hours ago. It's already got a bit on it, and you know, it's this car. This car is going to do well. We're watching this one very closely. Yeah. So there you have it. We um, are going to be. At the Ordrain concourse uh, on October 1st, 2nd, yeah, 2nd and 3rd, if you're going to be up in Rhode Island. Um, everyone knows that Driven to America was canceled because the school that was on the property with the CDC, we had no choice, but we promised Driven to America will be back bigger and better than ever in 2022. But we are going to, that opened up an opportunity for us, our crew, to go up to the Ordrain um, to the uh, the Bonhams auction, to the concourse, to the events. We're going to, uh, we're very, very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Donald Osborne is, um, I think, the chairman of the Audrey Museum. So there's uh, Jay Leno, I think, is, is, is expected to be there. Um, and me, of course. And uh, and Jim Barry, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But uh, no, we're, we're, we're looking forward to being up there. If you're going to be anywhere near there, Come up there, look for us. We'll be there with our... Uh, we'll be walking uh, around. We'll be walking around. Um, well, you have a target on your back? Yeah. <laughs> with the, uh, but we, we love to meet people. Obviously, we like to meet the people that, are, that, are, uh, that use our platform or, 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 or just car guys and girls and chat. And we, we love that stuff. Yeah. And we love the Northeast. And this time of year up there is heaven. Yeah. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. I get so happy thinking of being in uh, Northeast in, in, in October. It's, mm -hmm. it's glorious. And those of you that have been there know that. So that's what's happening. Check out um, our gear, our hats, Peak Car Market. They're the coolest hats. When we were at, out in California giving them out, people were like sending their friends over to get them. They are freaking awesome. Um, and they're not expensive because we just really want you to have it. And, um, and we have the shirts, I think, on there. But whatever. Just check it out. Check out... Uh, Inside the market, this is what you're watching. This is my car. We're talking about doing episode two. This is my car is a web series that, that I hosted about people's cars and owning them and driving them. So check out P Car Market Live YouTube channel. It's more than just this show. So enjoy it. Anything else? Am I forgetting anything else? That's it. Check out. Send the, us your questions. and uh, Send yeah. us your questions. Send us your comments. Please subscribe and notifications. Uh, my son keeps telling me to do that is yeah. pound that subscribe button. And let us know if you win any of these cars. If the, if the, owner, if the new owner of the pastel yellow car is, is watching, yeah, let man. us know. If you win one of these 993s, let us know. Also, tell us what you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. We know you have a lot of things to do with your time, and choosing to watch us is greatly appreciated. Pico Market, the team stands ready to help you sell your car, and uh, thank you again.